Bob, 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 Bob. He, says, he says he believes in the Bible. Okay. We've been standing here for 45 minutes. And what happened? We've quoted scri scriptures on all the nations, yes. all the tongues being saved. Yeah. Saying we're a heavenly nation. Yeah. And um, and and he and he's gone. He said to Victor. Yeah. Um, hold on, hold on. I'll have a different conversation with you than I will with him, because you're a black man, and now and now I'm racist. I, I don't know what's I don't know what's going on. All I did was I asked Prince half an hour ago. I, I don't I don't need him to jump in, but you're welcome. You're welcome. No, you're welcome. Come. Yeah. You know what? You know why? Because he'll have a different conversation with you because you're black. No, no. So I'm saying, come, come. The problem is, the problem is, uh, the problem is. I've read a scripture to him, saying all nations, all tongues. Are going to be saved. All nations, all towns will be saved. I read Revelation chapter what's, five. What's his comment on that. His comment on that. Say something. I don't mean no, no disrespect. You guys have no idea what the principle of Messiah means. Yeah. Absolutely no idea. Wow. Well, the Messiah is going to be a normal man who's going to be anointed. And when he comes. Where did you get that knowledge from, sir? Where's your epistemology from? Yeah. Where do you get your epistemology from? Yeah. From the Torah, from the Torah, which part of the Torah? Psalm 2, Psalm 22, Psalm 45, Genesis 15, 1 Samuel, 1 Samuel chapter 15. What is the Davidic covenant? Where is the Davidic covenant? Davidic. Did God not make a covenant with David? Exactly. And then what did God say? 1 Samuel 15. Now we're on another subject. You're going to teach what me what David the Messiah is. Psalm 110. Psalm 110. What did David say in Psalm 110? Sorry. What did David say in Psalm 110? Listen. This the Lord. nonsense. The Lord. Who, which Lord? Can't the Lord everybody. said to my Lord. But David is Lord dead. Said to my so who is David Lord. talking about? Exactly. When David says my Lord, who is he talking about? Maybe he's talking about God. Ah, so David the Lord worship. said to my Lord. Oh. Which Lord said to my Lord? David was the Lord because he's a king. So Lord, Lord, Lord. Which Lord? King. He was the king of Israel. And he was saying about himself. But Jesus mentioned that the writer, the, the writer, yes. the writer. Jesus, Messiah, so, hold, on, for a minute, hold on, man. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Do you believe in the scriptures? When the guy, listen, listen, listen. All right, then. Let we can't. We are. We we discussing this. One. This is translation. Let's, let's discuss this one. Let's discuss this one, let's discuss this one because when David, no, no. When says, what you're trying to do, you don't grab it out from man like that. It's not. That's he, not fair. What you're doing is slave master. He asked me to hold him up. No, that's a slave master mentality. That's a slave master mentality. Because why? I know, no, it's fine. When the writer, the writer, is right saying the Lord King David spoke to my Lord. It's the writer who's saying that, not when but Jesus mentioned If you don't believe, Jesus mentions it. If you don't believe, Jesus says, Jesus says if you don't believe, if Jesus why say, bring it up? Jesus what you're doing? Say, what you're doing now? If Jesus is blood saved, why are Orthodox Christians bombing the? Of all stuff, Christians, oh. Russia. That's what unnecessary. That's unnecessary. That's unnecessary. That doesn't mean anything. Where's the peace? What you're doing, what you're doing, what you're doing is wrong, man. No, where's the peace? What you're doing is wrong, man. Because because you're not speaking on the same oracle of we're speaking. We're, you're having a different conversation. No, yes, you are. We have a reference point. He that's says we're saved point. by the blood. Where? I don't murder. believe. I don't believe that we're saved by no blood. Where? I believe that the Romans murdered Christ. Huh? I believe that the Romans. I believe that they put him on the cross and they killed him. I don't believe that, that the Romans... That was standard punishment for everybody in those days. If you stepped out of line, you were crucified. So are you saying it he died like anybody else It wasn't died? specific to Jesus. Are you saying he died Crucifixion. like anybody else died? Sorry? Are you saying he died like anybody else died? If there was such a person... No, I'm asking you. No, I'm asking you. You're not asking me. Did Yeshua die like anybody else died? No, I'm asking you. Did Yeshua die like anybody else? But you won't answer. Because you mentioned, you mentioned, you mentioned earlier when you said principle. We don't understand principle of Messiah. Yeah. But the question is, what about spirit of? No, wait, wait, wait. What about spirit of Messiah? You mentioned principle. What about spirit of Messiah? I'm asking you. You said principle. What about the spirit of Messiah? Because principle is one thing. Spirit is one thing. And you're and you're and you're just you're chasing principle and you're living spirit. But even every spirit carries. Jesus was a human, human being. He was normal. He wasn't strange. He was a normal. Yeah, he was. He was normal and divine. So you can't accept it. Jesus was both normal and divine. No, but then why are you having a discussion? Then? Amen. Because you're not talking about Messiah. But then we are talking about because we believe. 
That's you, right. don't, you don't agree with him? No, you don't, you don't know what I've... That we, there's different aspects of what we believe that we don't... Well, he's a troublemaker. He's a troublemaker. Why is he a troublemaker? He's a troublemaker. Why? 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 But you can't run away from yourself. That's right. Can't That's run right. away from yourself. <laughs> you must have done something wrong. No, but because we were having a conversation. Psalm 108. You know what Psalm 108 says? Psalm 108. Verse 6. That your beloved may be delivered. Save with your right hand and hear me. What does that mean? Save with your right hand and hear me. Our prince hasn't answered one question today. He's asked lots of questions. Then you get to Psalm 110. The Lord is at your right hand. He shall execute kings in the day of his wrath. How can, the, how can God have a right hand? How can the branch of the Lord be a man? The branch of the Lord is a man. You're saying the Messiah is a man. The, mes the Messiah is a man. It's in the Torah. It's in the Old Testament. Oh, where is it? What mysterious book is it in? Which book? Well, you know. You're making the claim. I don't know. I'm saying... Well, you can't find them. Oh, you're wasting everyone's time. If you're going to preach to me and tell me anything about Christ, I would still want to know what nation you're from so that I can identify you. If, if I'm going to write a book and I'm going to say this person was preaching to me and he don't know his nation then it doesn't it's pointless to me that's why i'm saying that's but i'm saying person, to you i do know my nation you do know yeah, yeah. according to the scriptures my, uh, yeah my nation according to the scriptures is the holy nation of god the kingdom of god and i will i will spend eternity in that nation well you call it a nation i call it a kingdom so my blood, my blood is not my blood anymore. It's Christ's blood that gets me in there. That's the final sacrifice. So, so when you mention that, you, that there's a nations that's grafted in, so the nations are grafted in, they left, they grafted in unidentified, or they grafted in as nations. Because remember, those that were, that came out of Egypt, there was a mixed multitude, but then there were also the Israelites that were recognized with the mixed multitude. So, did you were you the ones that came out of Egypt as well, or because the, because the scriptures speak clearly about a transition, a people that the Red Sea, the, the sea was part. So, if you don't identify yourself as any nation, and you're preaching to me. I identify myself as an Israelite, as God's chosen people. If you want to ridicule, it doesn't matter. Or if, if, if you said you're a Gentile, you still need to know what nation within the Gentile community you are. But it doesn't say that in God's word. So for, for me, when it speaks clearly, and I read you Revelation chapter 5, and all nations, all tongues, all tribes are, are, are saved so only through the blood of Christ. Revelation 5 did you read? The one that I read out to you just now. Yeah, what, what, what verse and chapter was that? Um, so it's a Revelation 5. And in Revelation 5 verse 5, it tells you that he's from Judah. So Judah means the tribe from Jacob. So what are you going to say about that? It says all tribes and no, all nations. Revelation 5 verse 5. Because you mentioned Revelation 5. So Revelation 5 verse 5. I mean, completely the wrong book. I apologize to you when I took the mic from your hand. No problem. You know no what problem. I was going to do? No you know what I was going to do? No I was going to put it closer to you. I wasn't going to... No, I wasn't no, no. going to... Um, so, I read verse 8. You reading verse 5. five yeah. But one of the elders said to me, Do not weep. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has prevailed to open the scroll and loose its so seven seals. Judah, the lion of yeah, the tribe yeah, of Judah. Judah. Yeah. So, so we're talking about Christ here, right? Yeah. The lion yeah. of the tribe. Lion so of the tribe so, of so Judah. The tribe is a physical, like I'm touching you now. Yeah. And of Judah, which 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 profess that if there's Simeon, there's Levi, there's Benjamin. And there's Judah. They've and all been grafted into that tribe, I know, brother. I know. But this is Revelation. So yeah. he says, the scepter shall not depart Part. from Judah. Exactly. So so if you're grafted in, you're saying that you're grafted in to be Judah or what tribe did you grafted in? It tells you here in the same chapter. 
And that's what I can't understand. You, you're saying to me, if you go home and you tell your wife, this guy was preaching Jesus to me. But it says here in the chapter, you are worthy to take the scroll and open its seals. For you were slain. Yeah, I was reading up there. Now I've gone down to verse uh, 9. And uh, this is a song. We are all singing to the Lion of Judah. We're saying, you were worthy to take the scroll and open it and its seals. For you were slain and it redeemed us to God by your blood. Out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation. And have made us kings and priests to our God. And we shall reign on the earth. So what does it say? Then I looked and I heard the voice of many angels around the throne, the living creatures and the elders, and the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands and thousands of that's, thousands. That's 144,000. No, that's more than the okay. 144. Okay. So this one. That's over and above the 144. Okay. And where is the lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing? And every creature which is heaven and on earth and under the earth, and such are the sea and all of them I heard say. Blessing and honor and glory and power to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. And to the Lamb forever and ever. Okay. So you're saying that this is talking about all nations on the face of the earth. You're saying that Revelation, um, so Revelation 13, verse. Yeah, Revelation 10 verse 13. Okay, but now we're going to jump to another no, no, scripture. Let's because stay on one scripture. All nation, and I don't believe that. Okay, but, but that's called eisegesis. You are reading your interpretation into the Bible. This is not, we're not doing exegesis now. So if we were doing exegesis, so here's the, here's the thing. What I can't understand is Jesus said to us, go to all the nations and preach the nations. Yeah, he said it to the disciples. The disciples were all Jewish. Jewish. Yeah. Jew, not Jewish. That, there's no Jewish mention in the Bible. So, so you're using words. Was it that, called Palestine or Israel in the time of Jesus? No, you need to tell me what you're saying. You ask me the question. You can't show me Jewish in the Bible. So when you Hebrew? say Jewish, so Hebrew is a language. Yeah. So but Hebrew, they were called the Hebrew people. Yeah, but then, but then, because they were speaking Hebrew then, but then the the Bible was translated in 16, 1604 and read in church in 16, 1611, right? Why, why, why I'm saying that is, it was translated from Hebrew into English. So those people that were speaking Hebrew then, they're not speaking Hebrew today. Okay. Let me, let me, let me bring this to a close because yeah. we, can, we can spend all day going yeah. through scriptures. Yeah. Let me bring this to a close. If we're in a, on the top of a building and we've got someone here in the middle of us and that person says to you and I, we're, gonna, we're all going to die in, in three minutes. I'm going to give each of us one minute to tell the world view. Tell me what I need to do to be saved. In that one minute that you've got, can you tell me I how to need be saved? A, I, know, I would need a minute. I, first and foremost, I would like to know what nation are you according to this. Let's scriptures. say that person doesn't know. Are they going to hell? No, 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 no. no. If you don't know what nation you are, then yeah. you're not qualified to, to speak from the Bible. So that's, you what, can't, that's what I'm saying. If okay. you don't know what nation, if the Bible speaks of nations and you're preaching from the scriptures and you don't know what nation you are as a man that's preaching the scriptures, then you're not speak, preaching from the oracles of anything. But then, but, but where does it say that you've got to, if you, if you preach, it's you've got to know what it's nation spirit. you're from? It's the spirit. All right. But that's outside so, of the Bible. So I would say Jeremiah 31 verse 31 express everything that's spirit of God. Jeremiah 31, 31 verse 31. 31 yes. But you see what we're doing. We're all I don't we're doing know what now. You're doing, but I need to know what nation are you for you to be preaching so, the word of okay. God. Okay. Yeah. For for me, in my yeah. minute, yeah. I'll tell them about Jesus, the blood of Jesus, That's fine. and they'll be saved. That's fine. That's fine. So but who do you want the to... law was given to the children of Israel through Moses. Are you saying the law is done away with? No, I'm saying Jesus came to fulfill the law. No. But what I'm saying to you is. now, you can't offer people. Uh, a, a way to be saved in your minute salvation. unless you know what nation they're from. Yeah, that's fine. Salvation is for the no, Jews. No, I'm asking. Salvation is for the Jews. So, so if that's you're preaching to me, if you're preaching to me and you don't know what nation you are, like it's like a teacher teaching you, you don't know if it's a, what, if it's a science yeah. teacher, a maths teacher, a chemistry teacher, he's just teaching you. Just like you're teaching me, you're holding the scriptures and I'm saying according to the scriptures, what nation are you yeah. according to the scriptures you say you don't know so then how can we identify you as a moabite 
as an Edomite. So what, what scripture do you want me to read here? Jeremiah 31? Verse 31, yeah. Verse 31. Verse 31 says, Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant I made with their fathers. In that day that I took them by the hand and led them out of Egypt, my covenant which they broke, though I was a husband to them, says the Lord, but this covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord, I will put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. And, it goes on, No more shall every man teach his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord. For they shall know me from the least of them to the greatest of them, says the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquity and their sin, and I will remember that no more. But remember, it's talking about the house of Israel and Judah. Yeah. So that's why the question I'm asking is very relevant to what nation are you? So this is, we're talking about the Holy Scriptures. Yeah, so if God says about the new covenant with the house of Israel and Judah, where do you fit in in the new covenant? I, I'm he's confounded, that covenant. confounded. The new, where, I'm part of the new covenant. doesn't matter if I'm Judah or if I'm Israel. That's not or, according to what God says though. Yes, because God, write, uh, God writes the New Testament as well as the Old Testament. He doesn't just speak to us in the I Old know, Testament. I know, but then when Christ says, I, I was sent only for the children of Israel in, in, in um, Matthew 15, verse 24, it's yeah. the same thing he's saying. But we read, we read further on when he sends the disciples out that they go to all the nations, all the people. Teaching them. Yeah, teaching. teaching which yeah, is so, going to teach so them the, the same, gospel. It's the same children of Israel that God is speaking to in Jeremiah 31, verse 31. Yeah. And the children of Judah. And he says that... You know, you know, you know, you know, um, Hebrews um, 12, verse 14, or is it 7, verse 14, where it says, The scepter shall not depart. Yeah, from yeah, Judah. that's quoting. That's quoting scripture. He's writing to the, the, the that letter is to the Hebrews. Do you believe? It's to Jewish believers I know, in Jesus. I know, yeah. I know, I know, okay. I understand. So. And we agree. So, so there are there there. He's talking about the continuity of prophecy. There. Yes. He's not talking about um, you Jews, you're doing it this way, and it's only for you. He's saying to the the Hebrews, this is how we do it. It's Jesus Christ. Don't drift off that but message. When God speak, if you God drift speak off specific. that message, you won't find God's rest. God speaks specific. Remember, and God it speaks, speaks about God, uh, Jesus' I know, blood. I know, but it speaks about Christ's blood. Yeah. But then, when it speaks about the people, Christ is just one man. So the people that was were, that were believing in Him, or weren't believing in Him, they, some of them they were st they had still had families. They all came out of Egypt. Yeah. They all had families. So even when. Thomas had his own people. Peter has his own family. So Christ, as a Messiah, had to come from a bloodline that can be proven so that they could, they could say, okay, he's the true Messiah from David, Solomon, all the way up to Christ. And what's your eschatology on all of this? What do you well, believe the, the future is going to happen? So, so I believe that if you're preaching from the, from the Bible, and I ask you, what nation are you according to the scripture? I believe that you should be able to say, rather than saying, I'm just a nation of God. Because anyone can preach the gospel. They said, many shall come in my name. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you're representing Christ, but you don't know what nation you are. That is. Rep so if I should identify you as a nation, I'm probably lying. Okay. Um, I think it's very interesting, because you're a man of God. Well, so... I would like to say you are, but you're not a man of God because you said Christianity is a pagan religion. No, but then when you say Christianity, it's just like you say um, Islamic. So Islamic is the religion. So you say Christian religion, but the Christians are the people. So, yeah, so you're the ones. people, yes. Yeah, so, yeah. so you're the people. If you said, I don't like Christians, then I'm saying that I don't like you. But Christianity is the formulation of a, a group of ideas together that's forming Christianity. So if I'm a Christ, if I follow Christianity, then I'd have to follow certain rules and certain guidelines according to Christianity. Right. And according to what religion I go into, like Baptist, um, Jehovah's Witness, you know. So there's many different um, factors yeah. to Christianity. Yeah. But if I'm a Christian, that means I'm following Christ. Christians, 
and Christianity are two different meanings. Like Muslims are the people, yep. but Islamic is the religion. So when it says there, for God is highly exalted and given the name which is above every name, at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow, those in heaven, those on earth, and those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. What, what, what do you think about the nations then? Is that, are there going to be nations involved, or is that just individuals? Yeah, because God judged nations. As I, I was saying to you in Revelation 13, verse 10, yeah. and I was saying to you again in Genesis 15, verse 13, yeah. Genesis 15, verse 13, he says, Know for a surety to Abraham, he was talking, that thy seed shall be a stranger in the land, and they shall serve them for 400 years. And these are prophecies that you can look back and say, Oh, but we did 400 years under a certain other nation. And he says, in 16, he says, And that nation whom they shall serve will I judge. So who is that nation that put Abraham's children under bondage for 400 years? No one would say it's them. So I'm asking you, what nation are you? And you still don't know. No, you see, that's unfair. Because you keep saying, I, d I don't know. I keep on answering, but you don't like my answer. But you don't tell we me what be nation. Of, we should be of one mind and one spirit. I keep telling you, the nation that I believe in is the holy nation of God. That's what the I'm kingdom trying to say. And what, what time, what, when did that nation got birth? That, before the in world the was... In the scriptures. In the scriptures, it says, before the world was created, God knew me. He created me in my mother's womb. I know. And he created you in your mother's womb. See, the difference here is we are arguing about um, the arguing. nation we are. Because you are saying to me, I've got I mean. to know the nation. But I'm saying to you, I would gladly give up my life for you now. Why? Because I want you to have time to find Jesus. Because when you go and stand in front of God, and he says to you, you didn't acknowledge me, Prince, you didn't acknowledge me in front of me. In fact, you said the reverse of what I'm saying. So do you see your, your, um, your Hoshua, uh, Yeshua, Jesus, do you see him as being divine? Do you see him as being God? Or do you think he's just a prophet? I, I, he's very divine. He's, very, he's, uh, he's a divine. Okay, yeah, he's so you believe that believe in the in Trinity? Yeah. I believe, what Trinity are you talking about? Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Really? Yeah. How do you get that? In the Bible. 1 John 5, 7 and 8, Father, King James Son, Version. and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So the Spirit is, is what? So God is a Spirit, and they that worship Him must worship Him in Spirit and in truth. Yeah. So the Spirit and the truth is a physicality. He gives us that Spirit when yeah, we're reborn, yeah, yeah, yeah? yeah? But there's also a Spirit of God that was brooding over the waters during creation. And we know that Jesus spoke creation into being okay. for the Father. That's fine. So, so... Why I, why I believe in the scriptures and if the Bible speaks specifically of nation is because scriptures like this, like um, Isaiah 14 verse 18, it says, All the kings of the nations, even all of them, lie in glory, everyone in his own house. So, in your own house, meaning your own nation. So, if you don't know your nation, then you need to probably figure out, who am I in the Bible? Like, when I read the scriptures, what nation am I representing? When I read the scriptures, I believe my forefathers to be from the nation uh, of Israel. I, now I begin to understand where you're coming from. Yeah. Because in Revelation, yeah. it says that the nations that will not go to Jerusalem, yes. when Christ is ruling yes. from Jerusalem, yes. those nations will not get rain if, yes. they don't, exactly. if they don't go up and worship Him at the Feast of Tabernacles and everything. So for the thousand year millennium, that mankind is on earth, yes. but I believe that the rapture will happen before that. Okay. We will be raptured up, like Psalm 50, it says, I will take my people up. 1 Thessalonians 4, uh, Matthew, um, I can't remember 20, um, I can't remember the exact scripture, but I understand what you're talking about in those nations, yeah. but that is a divine, um, that is a divine a placement by God. That's fine. He will put us in the nation. That's fine. We might, we might return to the nations, but you are having a discussion no, with no, me I'm, about the nations I'm still, in history. I'm still, no, 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 no. I'm still at um, uh, Isaiah 14, and I'm going to read 20. He says, "Thou shall not join with them in burial, because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people, the seed of evil doers, for the iniquity of their fathers." that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. 
So now we can see in the world who is making all these cities, you know? So all these cities that is being made, this in the beginning was the word. So we have to read the word first to understand what is going to come as according to prophecy. So I don't want to misinterpret it. So for I will rise up against them, saith the Lord of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, saith the Lord. Who is he talking to if he's not talking to a specific nations of people that comes from specific seed like Abraham, Esau, Jacob, Edom, all of these are nations. So if you're going to speak the Bible, then you have to be coming from the oracle of somewhere. I, 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 if a so Chinese person... You, you, are, you are trying your hardest to, to stitch together two completely separate things. Okay. And what you remove is the redemption. Redemption. Or the, yeah, what you're doing is you, you remove the redemption no, of Jesus. Let me let me explain why. No, don't you're saying I cannot come to that redemption unless I know what nation I'm from. No, but Jesus Himself said in in Matthew 15 verse 24 that He only who He came for specifically for the Israelites. No, He doesn't say that. He doesn't only say that. The beginning of Jesus' ministry was to the Jewish people. He had to do that because that's what they promised. The Messiah was going to come before the second temple could be destroyed. So by, by AD 70, the Messiah had to come. Yeah. This is what the Jews don't understand. They don't understand their own scriptures that uh, was prophesied. So what I'm saying to you now is Jesus came at the right time, 483 years on the prophecy of Daniel chapter 7, saying that there would be that, that intermittent period where the Messiah would be cut off. Then the Messiah comes. So it says cut off. So where was he before he was cut it's off? The spirit that quickens, it's the spirit that it's quickens the spirit, in man. That's the exactly. Holy Spirit. But it's also the pre-incarnate revelation of Christ who came to this planet in the form of the angel of his presence, the angel of the Lord, the branch of the Lord, Listen, and in prophecy. So I'm not saying that you're not a servant of Christ. I'm not saying that at all. Okay. And I'm not saying that you can't be a servant of Christ. Because when Christ says, go for it, baptize in them. I know, but you're saying them, I can't be saved. No, what, what is saved? So, so saved is... He says, come to me, all you are heavy laden and burdened. Yeah. And, and that's I what you did. Take that. And that's what you did. Yeah. But you must know who is coming. But it doesn't say that. But what nation are you? Oh, but, okay. But, but that scripture doesn't say it, Prince. But I, if I am going to, I would say you're, I'm say, I would say you're Jacob's. Um, I would say you're, you're Israel's brother, which is which is Esau. But it's irrelevant. It, 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 it is irrelevant. It's real, relevant because because are you Christ's brother? No, no, no. Why I said it's relevant is because Jacob he, for, he foretold what will befall these people at the, towards the end. So how would we know what will befall us if we keep joining hands with those that are already predicted to be to be befall? So this is what I'm trying to say. But the whole New Testament says you can do that. You can, okay. you can I, join. I get, I get where we're missing now. I guess cause, cause, because you're not of joining law, hands. Yeah, because you're not jo what, do, what do you mean by joining hands? Because all right, when 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 the when the um, prophecies was given to like Ephraim and Manasseh and Judah and Levites and the Benjamites, no other nation got those um, revelations from Jacob. So if you're preaching to me and you're not preaching from the oracle of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the God and the children of Israel, then what oracle are you coming from? And this is what I'm saying to you. I, I'm preaching to you yeah. from the oracles of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yes. And I'm preaching to you the fulfillment yes. of those oracles and those prophecies. And I accept, and wait, wait, let me finish. No, I'm preaching to you the fulfillment of all of those prophecies in Christ. You say that you believe those scriptures and you accept those scriptures okay. all the way through the Bible. Okay. Now, Why I did that? that? Let, let, let me say, let me finish this. So I don't believe that you can preach what you think yes. the Bible is saying. You can only preach what the Bible is saying. That's so Daniel's going to start preaching now. We've got to do a wrap up. I'm going to ask JC to come and do a wrap up, and then I hope that we can. Um, well, with the law that was given to the children of Israel after we came out of Egypt, I'm still there. The law, God's law, like not to eat pork and to give tithe.
to do this, to do that. I'm still there, but you are, you have so advanced. So you don't believe in the Bible? You don't believe no, that no, I Peter believe in the new, I believe all of that. I believe, I believe everything, and I believe I, I actually wish that we could have a longer conversation off camera. We're at just we, to, we, yeah, we can, that's but why. No, 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 maybe not today. Not, okay. We can, we can. Um, I just want to, I just want to find JC. Anyone know where JC is? Uh, I don't know. Okay, I just want to do a wrap up. Do you know how to switch that camera off? Wait, wait, Prince, Prince, you do a wrap up first and then I'll do a wrap up. Okay, I won, Prince lost. I mean, as long as you know what nation you're from, you win. Okay, so I actually love this brother. So can, can you come stand next to me? I, I genuinely love this brother. We've had such a lovely conversation today. He's a, a, a lovely, genuine man that I think hungers for God. We are not able to reach agreement on, I think, redemption, the process of redemption. Or salvation. Or salvation, which is, if you think about it, the main point. But I think we're getting there. Um, I'm going to wait here for Prince to catch up and see, <laughs> and see where, where righteousness is. But, you know, the thing is, he believes in Jesus. He believes that Jesus died for I us. I believe in Yahusha. Yahusha. I believe that Jesus is, is just a, um, a European name that was derived okay. uh, later down. Okay. Yeah. Well, I believe that uh, Jesus, Yahushua, Yeshua um, are all the same person, um, the Godhead, uh, the Trinity. There's power in the name, though. Huh? There's power in the name. So if we're changing the name, that means we're, we're diminishing the power in the original name because we know he's a Hebrew. So if we know that he's Hebrew and then J only came about a few years, a hundred years ago, then we must identify his Hebrew name. So by his Hebrew name, we can say it's Yahusha, not Jesus. So you can worship Yeshua. him. Yeshua, Yahusha. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, which fine. is the right Hebrew name? Yahusha. Why not Yeshua? You're wrapping up. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I would say, I would gladly say Yah Yahusha or Yah Yahoshua, Yeshua, yeah, Yeshua, 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 Joshua, yeah, jo Jesus. Yeshua. For us, it's an English trunk. We, when I say the name Jesus, I mean the person of Jesus Christ. Why well, is a Hebrew? You are, you are more caught up on the nations and the, the tribes Two thousand than what years we ago, are. Remember, the Bible only translated from yeah, Hebrew yeah, into English you. only 400 years ago. But I'm saying, brother, yeah. you are more caught up with that yeah. than what Christians are. I know, are. I know. I know. You, Christianity. You, Christians. I'm Christians. I'm, these Christians believe in Christ. So do you believe that Jesus Christ is the only way to Christ. get to heaven? He's the way. He's the truth. But you, the name you call him... Yeah. It's not the name that is original. Okay, so if I said that you believe... That Yahushua... So now, now I'm looking at your salvation, now we, we can't wrap up. Yeah. Are you saying to me that you believe that Yahushua, Yahushua. Is, the, Yahushua is the only way to get to... Yeah, because he said, I am the way, the truth, and life. And no well, one my got brother, to... then, then I can call you my brother. That, but then that's what I'm trying to say. But without you knowing what nation you are, I would be shaking an unknown brother. Because you don't know what nation. So what? We're brothers. I know, but we are we are all human beings from God. We are God's creation. But then remember, after the flood, you have Ham, Shem, and Japheth. Okay, but this is a difference in theology, and you and I can sit down and have yeah, a cup of tea yeah, somewhere definitely. and have a chat about I, that, it. That definitely. Uh, what what puzzles me uh, about you is that, you know, they call it the elevator pitch in sales. When you're in a, a lift with someone, you've got to try and sell them this car. So they always train salespeople up and give me your elevator pitch. When I ask you what your elevator pitch is for um, salvation, um, you, you, you immediately come, what nation are you from? Well, no, that's asked, the difference. That's the first thing I ask you at the beginning of our conversation. Sure. But that because you was at the Bible, so because you're, you're, you're confident in the, in the Bible, so I'm saying, before I even had a conversation, I said, what nation are you? And you couldn't identify a biblical nation that you're from, or your family, your father, 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 father. But you know what, when we die, I mean, if we were both to die now, and we go and we stand in front of Jesus, and we bend our knee, and we say, you are Lord, um, what you have just said, what came out of your mouth, means you're saved. What, come out of what you have just said came out of your mouth. You acknowledge that Jesus is Lord. Yes. That means you well, are when saved. When you say Jesus, 
I'm not oh, in my head because Hasha. I do know that you're, you're okay. you don't know his you don't you don't know his Hebrew name. I don't have a so problem you're with that. So you're speaking the name that would, that we were colonized under. Yes. So, so okay. we were colonized under a white colonial um, Roman Jesus. Yeah. But before that, yeah. we knew him as Yahusha. Okay. So if I said that, yeah. And you said why you I, refuse I'm to calling, call him by We're going to do a wrap name. up now. Okay. Um, we've gone on the merry-go-round. And um, this, this lovely guy, we've now gone, he acknowledges that Yehoshua is Jesus and died for our sins and he's saved. So I think he's saved. I know I'm saved. But he didn't die for all the nations, man. He died for all the nations, all but the people. He, he's an Israelite. But, but we'll have that. We'll have that conversation at a later Israelite. stage. Yeah. But God bless you all, brothers and sisters on soccer. Have a lovely day. God bless. Bye. Thank you, Prince. Thank you, Greg. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you, Prince. Cut!